What's up, guys? How you doing? What's poppin'? It's the girl. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so as I say in every video, I'm sorry it's been a while. I'm back. It hasn't been a while like the last time where I disappeared for a year. But you know what? Hey, guys. So, um, I've been giving a lot of thought on what Lilith video I should do next, guys. I know in my last video, I was like, I think I should do Lilith in Scorpio. And then, I'm thinking about it now, and I'm sorry, but I changed my mind. So... <laughs> I'm not feeling those vibes today, so, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go with what I'm feeling, guys, with what I'm feeling. By the way, I've been getting a lot of comments and new subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for keeping up. Thank you for my astrology people, psychic people out there for being true to yourselves. You know what? You're dope dope ass and y'all guys i just want to make a comment on a comment i got in my lilith in libra video i mentioned in that video something about i forgot but anyway so yeah lilith in libra video right so i mentioned something about because lilith and libras do tend to be pathological liars right and uh, I did mention in that video about my Lilith placement. And I did get a comment saying, oh, Geminis just think they don't lie. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to disagree with you on that. But anyway, hey, how you doing, guys? Thank you for watching. Cool, 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 cool. So, guys. So, um, I was thinking... I'm gonna do Lilith in Aries today, guys. Watch out for all my Aries kings and queens out there. Y'all got this shit. You dope. You know you're the best. So you keep on working on that shit. What's up? What's up, my people? How you doing? How you doing? By the way, I just woke up. Mm. I was meant to wake up at like six this morning. To exercise but anyway shit happens i was having such a nice dream guys and i just i just couldn't wake up i just couldn't wake up okay anyway so if you're new to my channel what's up if you don't know who lilith is she is a demonic whatever being in mythology aspects of mythology she's she's no she's more prominent in jewish and christian mythology and she was adam's first wife and you know she decided to be the dominant one and apparently in those centuries women were not supposed to be like that so it's this whole political and religious and philosophical thing behind it if you guys want to find out more do your own research because i don't got time to explain all this shit because i'm just gonna end up getting in too deep and then my mind's gonna start wandering off because you know what lilith besides the succubi and the incubi lilith is one of my favorite demons in demonology guys so anyway guys what's up so as we all know if you don't know it's your dark aspect your shadow self it is um who you don't show to the world and what you end up showing when the worst is brought out of you through whatever situation or circumstance. Lilith, um, Lilith uh, as aspects could be combined with your moon sign in how you deal with things and blah 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 because your moon sign is your emotional reaction so it depends how you react emotionally and your Lilith just brings that out of you, right? 
right oh hi guys so aries very 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 competitive guys this is overly competitive in the form of obsession and needing to be the best even if it's only based on putting other people down and all based on ego it's 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 based on building yourself to the highest point while breaking other people down because you only care about winning right it's only about winning guys it's only about being the best and having to be that best and breaking even it, it's it can even be a, a a factor of disloyalty i mean maybe it's someone you're close to but if you got a choice between needing to win or being loyal to this person you would choose to win right i don't know i'm just i'm just assuming i'm guessing guys i'm guessing <laughs> <laughs> so anyway guys y'all um y'all are very 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 overly competitive very it's like let me, let me give you an example like um you know in uh who can I give an example of? This person is in my mind, but I can't get the name of this person. Okay, it's fine. When I, when I get the name of that person, I will tell you guys. I will tell you guys what's up, what's popping. I'm so sorry I keep like switching and then getting distracted. And then, okay, guys. So, you know, and then, so y'all. Yeah, and then um, it could be like in the form of an obsessive athlete player who kills everyone around them to get to to get themselves to the top kind of vibe kind of vibe so imagine yourself in a business environment you could be that evil boss apostrophe bunny fingers evil boss kind of vibe you know so it's like that kind of shit man it's it's all about that rage and that anger you have inside of you guys and you don't really know how to manifest it positively so it just comes out brash and blunt and negative and brutal to everyone around you and sometimes you don't even have control over that so it's a lack i know arians are normally very self-controlled people hey but <laughs> it's a lack of self-control in this aspect because you are losing self-control in the battle of needing to win all the fucking time all the time all the time all the time all the time so it's that aspect of always just letting your anger out and not having control over those emotions that impulsivity guys that impulsiveness <laughs> okay i i shouldn't you know a lot of I'm, a lot of what I'm speaking or what I'm saying in this video comes from self-experience <laughs> So, <laughs> what I'm saying <laughs> is just is just me transforming all that into Lilith, right? Because I'm a cusp Aries. I'm on the cusp, guys. I'm very heavy influenced by what? Yo, my English. I can't English, guys. I think I'm a bit dumb. But <laughs> yeah. I'm very heavily influenced by Aries, by that Aries fiery energy, guys. So, a lot of what I'm talking in this video, saying in this video, comes from myself. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you're good. So, <laughs> but yeah, so, but then just learn not to manifest that energy into something bad learn to keep others up while keeping yourself up because in the process of being so overly competitive you just break other you just break yourself down at the end because you end up having no one on your side and no one to turn to because this loyalty can be a motherfucker even though on the positive side you are known to be very loyal people <laughs> but anyway so yeah guys so yeah, I don't know what else to say for an Aries. My Air oh, I love Aries people. You know, they're my favorite people. My one of my favorite. You know, I have a lot of favorite people, but <laughs> I don't actually don't have. I know what I'm flip flopping again. Okay, I do have a lot of favorite. 
I don't. I do or I don't. No, in the middle. Like, I do have favorite people sometimes. And then on other days, I don't have favorite people. So a lot of, most of my favorite people are Aquarians um, and Aries, Aries people. Hey, hey, hey. And Libras and Geminis and Capricorns and Scorpios. You people are my favorite people. Okay, hi. But there's also days where I just hate you and want to kill all of you. But anyway, guys, hey. So, yeah, and then very overly, like, you know what? You know what, bro? So, yeah. So, just like, just like, you know. Oh, yes, and I have to mention, I am obsessed with Leo people and Taurus people as well. You literally the only people that I don't end up hating. But anyway, so guys, <laughs> I'm in a very weird mood today, guys. I just woke up and, you know, I haven't posted a video in so long. And whenever I post videos, I just have like so much to say. But at the same time, I don't have a lot to say. You know, I'm, such a, I'm just, I'm just confused. So, you know, yeah. But then, obviously, now this this Lilith and Aries placement could be, uh, what's the word? What's the word that I'm looking for? Could be influenced by other aspects in your chart, okay? So, if you, just examples, if you could be, if you are a Cancer and you have a lot of Earth placements in your chart, but your Lil Lilith is Aries, you're gonna have that, that, that watery, earthy energy to calm you down. But at the same time, you're gonna have that, <clears throat> that reckless, over-competitive way about you deep, deep inside, and it's only gonna come out when you go in your typical Cancerian hissy fit, <laughs> and when you finally break. You know what I'm trying to say? You know, this is, the, this is just an example I'm giving, giving, giving you guys. So, y'all. So, a nice way you can manifest this energy is to put energy into the things you like doing the most. Okay? Don't let yourself get so hooked onto the unnecessary aspects of life. If you want to win and obsess over winning at something, choose something that's not gonna that's not gonna have a negative effect on those around you. Okay? Work on that temper, work on that rage. Do exercises like physical because since we we like you like exercising, since if you are a physical person, I know a lot of Aries people either don't like exercising and but a lot of them do and a lot of them like sports and stuff. So if you are into that kind of stuff, just do physical activities, like very aggressive physical activities to let out all that rage. And if you if you feel like you're getting to that point of needing to obsess over being the best or you're gonna die find something or find a space or find something you're very 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 good at like a hobby like for example i'm just giving you an example boxing or dancing and then do it and do it and do it on your own time in your own pace without affecting those around you guys and not everything is a fight okay <laughs> No, I'm laughing because I, f I sound like a hypocrite when I'm talking in this video, guys. I literally sound like a hypocrite because I'm telling you guys all this stuff, but I do exactly what I'm telling you guys. S like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I'm telling, I do exactly what I'm telling you guys not to do. Okay, so this is advice to myself as well, guys. But even though my Lil Lilith is not in Aries, you all know what my Lilith is in. But like, you know, so it's just like in general, you know, just just for Aries people in general, okay? Just learn to tame yourself and keep yourself grounded because you know how you can affect those around you. And especially with a, with a Lilith placement in such a fiery sign, it's gonna kick out and push out a lot of people that is there for you in your life, okay guys? Learn 
trying to manifest that energy positively through aggressive sports, ther therapeutic aggressive sports and stuff that can help you calm yourself down. Meditation, Pilates. I started doing Pilates, guys. It, uh, that actually helps with, with anger stuff, okay? And, <laughs> and um, yoga and stuff like that, okay? And if you, if you need to run, just run, guys. Just let out all that energy, let out all that frustration. Just, you know what? Just work on that rage. Don't have these rage blackouts. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed watching my video. I know it wasn't as informative as my other videos. Um, yeah, um, very lustful erotic people as well. Very, very lustful. Yes. Like, you can be competitive in everything you do. In everything you do. And it gets over the top for, like, everything. Okay, okay, guys. Okay, thanks for watching my video. Subscribe, like, and comment. <laughs> I'm not okay. No, I'm, I'm really not okay. But, um, y'all, um, keep the comments coming. I will always reply to them and keep up to date with you guys. And, y'all, yeah. and one of the other ladies that commented in another video of mine um said that she likes me i'm weird thank you and we have very similar placements girl what's up what's poppin how you doing add me on instagram ig lil miss xo makeup artist i will put a description in the below thank you if you don't know your little sign just go on a birth, birth chart calculator you can go on <clears throat> Sorry, astro.com, or you could go on the one that I normally go on, and I'll put that in the description below. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.